everyone and welcome back to Sonia's Prep. Today I wanted to take you along on how I'm going to be making homemade French baguettes. What can be greater? So delicious. So to start off, I'm going to be using 8 cups of high gluten flour. I've made this recipe before with regular all-purpose flour where it's just great. Also here I have about 50 to 700 ml of lukewarm water, 1 teaspoon of sugar, uh, two and a half teaspoons of yeast, and one tablespoon of salt. So to start off, I'm going to be placing in my sugar into the water, as well as the yeast. And into the flour, I'm going to be adding in my one tablespoon of salt and giving everything a very good mix with my whisk, just to displace that salt all throughout the flour. Once that's done, I'm going to just be mixing the yeast and sugar in the water just to get everything diluted. And because it's instant yeast, you don't even have to wait for it to poof or rise. You can just right away place it into the water and start kneading your dough. Add about half first. Start mixing and then add in the other half. And the dough is going to be sticky, but it's not going to be so, so super sticky that you won't be able to get it off of your hand. It just needs to be a very soft dough. Make sure to get all that yeast from the bottom. To me it looks dry, like I'm going to need to add more. So let's look at our water. So at this point the dough is exactly as it should be. It is slightly tacky and sticky but this is exactly what you want and you just need to basically do the folding method. So you're going to take the dough from one side and fold it into the middle and go around doing that to just round it out nicely. Okay, so that's perfect. Now I'm just going to take some plastic wrap, cover the dough, we place the dough in a warm area for 45 minutes. We're going to set the timer. The most warmest place in my house is inside of my oven with the light on. I just turn the light on and it emanates heat so the dough gets nice and warm much much more quicker and so we're going to keep it in there for 45 minutes and i'll show you what we'll do next so now 45 minutes have passed and we're going to again do the folding method the dough rolls so beautifully as you can see it's double the size so all i'm going to do is take it from the side stretch it out and push it inside just like that Now we're going to cover it back up and let it rise for another 45 minutes. So this process of putting the timer on for 45 minutes, letting the dough rest, we're going to do this process three times. So we already did it once. We have two more times to go. So cover it back up and place it somewhere warm again for 45 minutes. And we'll be back and I'll show you what I'm going to be doing next. So the dough has gorgeously risen even more now as you can see 
and you have beautiful, beautiful bubbles all throughout, which shows us that it's going to be amazing. So we're going to be folding it one last time and putting it back into the oven to rise for 45 minutes. And after that, we'll be ready to shape our baguette. So once again, just taking it and folding it. full of air and bubbles, it's going to be amazing. Now on to our very last one. See you in a few. finally done with our third rise and all of our patience has almost paid off so I'm going to be taking the film off and I'll show you how we start to shape our baguette. I'm going to take some flour and dust our table so that the dough doesn't stick. All these bubbles, I don't know if you guys can see it, it's just perfection. Take a little bit more dough and just dust the top of it. I don't know, this dough came out so good. So I'm just going to take my dough cutter and I'm going to divide it into four equal parts because I'm going to be making four baguettes. So as best as you can, try to make them equal in size. Guys, it's like air. It came out so good. I'm so happy. So the whole process of us folding the dough over creates all of that fermentation, that those bubbles inside the dough. So now we have four relatively equal portions and this is how we're going to start to shape it. You take your dough and ever so slightly try to release a little bit of those bubbles. Ever so slightly. You don't want to make them into pancakes. You just ever so gently. Take that first, the side closest to you, fold it in. Press, press it in, and now take the two sides, fold it into one another, and start rolling it. Roll it all the way up until the end, and then you're going to want to smush this part as well. There you go. Here is our warmed now put that on the side and you do that with each and every single one of them ever so gently fold the side and roll it
I'll be back and I'll show you how we're finally going to shake them. While we're waiting for our dough to rise, place the cast iron skillet into the oven and heat it to 475 degrees Fahrenheit. I place my cast iron skillet on the lower end of the oven and the purpose of that is to get it really nice and like piping hot and right when we place in our baguettes into the oven, I'm going to fill it up with water and that's going to create a lot of steam which is going to get the baguettes nice and beautifully crispy and delicious. Now let's see how they look. Oh, look how gorgeously they rose. Wow. Okay, so now for the final step. <laughs> Making baguettes is a little bit time consuming, but once you've had the taste of them, they are very well worth it. So, we take our shaped baguette, flip it on the top down, Push like we did a moment ago while we were letting it rise. And fold it on itself. Two times. So one, and you push down, and then two. And you take the heel of your hand, and you push down just to seal off that crease. That's it. First baguette is shaped. On to the second one. Fold it in half. And with the palm of your hand, push down. And one last time. Now that our baguettes have all been shaped, I'm going to be using this baguette um, tray. You definitely don't need this to make the baguettes. I made this previously using just a regular baking sheet and they turned out just fine. It's just nice to do it on this because they have those holes inside of the pan that make them look a little bit more authentic and I figured I'll have this for the rest of my life. It's not going to go bad. So why not just invest in it? If anyone's interested, I'll have this linked in the description box below if you want to have it. But again, you really don't need to have it. So I'm going to take this pan, dust it with some flour, place the baguettes on top, cover it with a towel again for another 10 to 15 minutes, and then we're finally going to bake them. Cover them back up and this whole entire time our oven is preheating to 475 degrees and our cast iron skillet is getting nice and hot. We're going to be adding in some cold water into the skillet which is going to create a lot of vapor which is going to give our baguettes that amazing crust. So I'll see you in 15 minutes. Now for the final step, we take off our towel, dust the entire top with a light coating of flour. Now that everything is coated, I 
take a nice sharp knife and I make about three to four cuts on the top of the baguette. You could either use a razor, I know people who use scissors. So for my length of baguettes, I'm gonna make four incisions. Try to stay away from cutting the outer edges, otherwise your dough will come just fall apart. Try to keep to the center of the dough as much as you can. Now very quickly add in your water. Now we've added our baguettes into the oven and very quickly added in the water and that created a lot of vapor as you saw, which is going to give us that great crust. Now I'm gonna put a timer on for 25 minutes and we'll check on our baguettes. So super excited, the timer is about to go off and we're gonna see what our baguettes look like. If you know me, you know that one of my weaknesses is delicious fresh bread. The baguettes are ready and they're just perfect. I'm gonna just take them from their tray, place them on a cooling rack so they can cool completely and then we can dive right in. Look at how perfect. And when you, do you hear that? They're nice and hollow and light. That's how you know you have perfect baguettes. They're gonna be so great with some butter and jam, or just as is. I'm gonna be back in a few minutes once they're all nice and cool, and we'll cut into it. Finally time to try our baguettes, and I just wanted you to hear the crunch and the perfection of it. Ready? Do you hear that? How nice and crunchy it is? Now let's, let's eat, we deserved it after all that work, we just deserved it. So, I'm gonna cut. You hear that crunch? Look at all of those bubbles, that crunch. I'm gonna put some butter on, cause why not? I love bread and butter. Some jelly. The 
It's so good. It is absolutely perfection. You guys have to give this a shot. And when you do, let me know in the comments down below how yours came out and what you enjoyed it with. Until next time.